Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to unbox the Lenovo F340 Gaming. This is the i7 model. It comes with 16GB of single channel RAM, 1TB hard drive plus 256 SSD and the GTX 1650. Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. This is the foam packaging. I'll just put it away. And then comes the laptop. I don't feel it's too heavy. Okay, there's some manuals, which no one needs, and then there's the power brick and the charging cable. This is 135 watt, giving enough juice to the i7 processor. It's not too heavy and not too light, and the size of my palm. Here's some information if you want to. And the date of manufacturing. March 2019. The charging cable. This charging head may vary by region, I think. And there's the three pin connector. Okay, there is nothing else in the box. But it's a good package. And the box looks good. I think I'm gonna keep it. Let's take the laptop out. And here it is, with the brushed metal look. It doesn't look like a gaming laptop design. It's more like a professional design. But it looks nice. Here are the air intakes and the air exhaust on the left side. There is the Windows 10 logo, Home Edition. And an information sticker. Those are the rubber pads that will grip the laptop to the desk. And here are the down firing speakers. Here and here. Let's see what openings we have. There is the charging port and a charging indicator, the RJ45, HDMI, two USB 3.1, and headphone jack. USB Type-C 3.1 generation and I think this is the recovery button and a power indicator. The other side is completely empty except the lock opening. I can open the screen with one hand, well not exactly. Everything is different inside, it gives you the gaming laptop feeling with these blue keys. It feels nice, although it's plastic. Let's hear this clicking sound. This thing can open to 180 degree, as said by Renault. I don't know the purpose, but in my opinion, if you drop it on the screen, it will just flex, and no damage will occur to the hinges. There is a privacy shutter for the camera. The hinge feels really good. Let's power it up. 
Okay, it wasn't charged. So I connected it to the charger and waited for the orange LED to blink, as my old Lenovo did. And it didn't. It just stayed there. I left it until it turned white. It took about 40 minutes, but I decided to leave it longer, so the battery can take enough juice. Okay, let's power it up now. It kinda booted itself three times. I guess because that's the first time it boots. And finally, here is the Lenovo logo. It took about a minute until the setup began. I'll just speed up the process. That was Cortana by the way. And here it is. I wasn't connected to the internet yet, so the windows was not activated. In the device manager, we can see the Intel UHD Graphics 630 and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. So it supports NVIDIA Optimus to switch between dedicated and integrated graphics. The wireless adapter here is from Intel, AC9462. Windows 10 was pre-installed on the SSD so no further work was needed. The deportation has the drivers on it. Nothing else. I took a look at the star screen to see what bloatware was coming on my way, and apparently there was a lot of them. When I connected to the internet, some apps started downloading, and I found a Realtek Audio Console. It gives you some basic options for the speakers. But in the microphone section, there was more. There was a sound suppression option. It mimics the noise cancellation, I think. The second one was to remove the echo occurring from the speakers. A third option was turned off by default. This option lets the microphone pick up sound from far distance, so you don't have to sit in front of the computer to speak. I found another pre-installed app called Lenovo Vantage. This app tells you what you already know. Some things like the model, that is left in warranty, if you have system updates, and there's two other sections. One was a testing section to make sure everything in your hardware works perfectly. The other section was the battery options. And there was the rapid charge option. This let the battery charge faster. There was also McAfee a LifeSafe free antivirus pre-installed. But it was 30 days trial, and it was taking up one gigabyte of storage. So I uninstalled it. Unlike other gaming laptops, this one doesn't have a software to control fan speed or to switch between performance mode and quiet mode but you can do the latter by pressing the function key plus Q key so it's only a hardware triggered or you can do it in the BIOS so when you apply performance mode the two fan cooling system fan speed is increased and the performance is increased too another thing worth mentioning that the keyboard has two stage lighting the speakers support Dolby Audio. Let's test it.
And that's it. The Lenovo L340 unboxing and first impressions. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you liked the video and to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.